everybody, it's Greg the Food Fixer. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we've got kind of a double whammy. It's two of my favorite things. First of all, you can see the crock pot, so we'll be using that. That makes it one of my favorite things because I know I can just throw everything in the pot, turn it on and come back and dinner's ready. The second thing that gets me excited about this dish is that it's classic comfort food and I think now is just the perfect time for that. So today we're gonna make crock pot chicken and dumplings. It's so simple, you're gonna love it. And again, it's one of those things when you use a crock pot where you can just throw everything in the morning into the crock pot, go to work or whatever you do during the day, come back and you're almost ready to go. So let's just dive in here, take a look at what we have and what we need to do and we'll have a delicious meal ready to go this evening. So since it's chicken and dumplings, obviously I've got my chicken. Now, normally I do it with about four chicken breasts, but these are just uh, freakishly large. So I'm gonna go with three freakishly large chicken breasts. So you just wanna go ahead and put that in your crock pot. And we're just gonna kinda put it down like that. And then you're gonna want one medium onion chopped. If you don't like to chop onions, and I don't blame you, you can buy chopped onions in the refrigerator and the produce department's ready to go. So that's one medium onion. Of course, if you and your family don't care for onions, leave them out. But I'm gonna go ahead and put that on top. And then we want to add two cans of cream of chicken soup. And this is probably a good point to talk about adding other things. And I know some people make chicken and dumplings and they put carrots or peas in it. To me, that's more like a chicken pot pie filling and I would rather just go ahead and make a chicken pot pie. This is classic Southern chicken and dumplings and we don't want all that in there, so you know, if I feel the need to, to have a vegetable with dinner, I'll just make a salad or something, but I'm perfectly happy with this. Okay, so that's just about it. What you wanna do now is top it off with some chicken broth. We just wanna cover it just to where it, it looks like it's covered. If you don't have chicken broth, water works fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I think that's gonna get it on the liquid. And then last but not least, we want to season it. Now, soup has a lot of sodium in it anyway, so I'm just gonna leave it out and we can always salt it at the table if we feel like it doesn't have enough. So pepper in chicken and dumplings to me is a very key ingredient. It might look like I'm going crazy on it here, but I really want a nice little pepper kick to it. And of course, season to your preference and, and that of your family. You know what you like at this point. So that's it. We've got all of our ingredients in the pot and we're done with what we need to do for now. So I'm just gonna put the lid on and then if you are going to, to be gone all day, um, you're gonna wanna cook it on, on low. If you've got the day at home, um, about four or five hours on high, we'll get it done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it that way. It's on high, I actually like to preheat my crock pot. So it's on high and then in about, I would say um, four and a half, five hours, I'll be back and we'll do the last step. Now, I do need to tell you now for the dumplings, we're gonna need canned biscuit dough. So make sure you have some of that. And, and then like I said, we'll be back in about five hours. We'll finish it off, put the dumplings in there, and then it'll be ready to put on the table about half an hour after that. So we'll see you then. All right, I'm back. It's been about five hours, and now it's time to make the dumplings and finish this thing off. So let's take the lid off and see. Oh yeah, doesn't that look good? 
That just looks fabulous to me. All right, I've been cooking mine on high, so that's why it's bubbling and all. That's looking really good. So before we do our dumplings, actually, the first thing you want to do is, is shred this chicken up a little bit. So I'm going to switch sides so you can see what I'm doing. And we'll take care of that. So just take your chicken breast out and be careful. It's so tender, it's going to fall apart like that. And, um, you know, I would use a cutting board or you could use a casserole dish or a bowl even works. But um, we could probably even do this in the crock pot. It's so tender. But I also kind of want you to see what that looks like. It's just falling apart and that makes me happy. All right, that's all of our chicken. So now we just want to take two forks and do this right here. You know, do some, don't, don't finely shred it. Use some, some bigger pieces and use some smaller ones. But look how tender that chicken is. It just shreds right up like that. Okay. That's what we're looking for there. So at this point, we just want to put that back in our crock pot and we're going to continue cooking. So I'm going to do this and do this. Of course, do it as far down in there as you can so you don't splatter when you're putting it in the crock pot. Look at that. Mm -hmm. All right, it's dumpling time. So for the dumplings, we just want to use uh, two cans of this, the 10 ounce size, two cans of refrigerated biscuits. So something like this. I'm sure you're familiar with them. If not, they are in the refrigerator section at your grocery store with the cookie dough and pie crust and all that kind of good stuff. So you just want to open it up, bust it at the seam. Well, yeah. And we're going to put it on our cutting board. And we just want to Cut these up, or you can tear them. It's probably just as easy to tear them, but maybe in half. So let's do maybe in thirds. I don't know. Depends how big your mouth is, I guess. Now, if you cooked your chicken all day on low, at this point you're gonna need to turn your crock pot up to high because we wanna cook this dough um, and, and we don't wanna take the rest of the day to do it. So turn it up on high and um, we'll cook the dumplings down with that. All right, that's one can. That's it. We want to let this cook on high, of course, for um, 45 minutes or so. You might want to come back and take a look at it. At that point, we want our dumplings to be not raw. They're going to be soft because they're, they're basically going to boil cook. So they're going to be soft. If you've had chicken and dumplings before, you know that. So that's okay, you're just gonna check them, taste one, see if it's right to you. And we just want to submerge them a little bit because like I said, they are going to boil cook. All right, so once we've done that, we just wanna put our lid back on. And like I said, we'll come back in 45 minutes, check them together, see where we go from there. But we're just about done. We'll be able to eat this 
in less than an hour. So I'll see you then. Okay, it's been exactly 45 minutes. Let's check to see if our dumplings are done. If so, we're gonna be eating really soon. Oh, look at that. Mmm, that's fabulous. So I can tell they're done already, but but I'll show you show you what it looks like. I'm gonna pick one here. So take a look at this. Do you see how you can see the cooked bread inside? That's how you know. So this is perfect. I mean, we nailed it. So I'm really happy about this. Let's go ahead and dish it up and see what we've got. And uh, I don't see any reason that mm, we can't be eating as soon as it cools down a little bit. Look at that. I'm actually pretty proud of that. So I hope you see how easy this was to do. Throw everything in the crock pot, walk away from it, come back, throw some biscuit dough in there, come back, you're ready to eat. So I hope you try this and I hope you like it. If you do, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. We'll see you then.